Some time ago, I got an email from the company representing the TalkPod brand name. They said, hey, if we send you our new radio, would you be interested in making a review on it? I said, why not? But I'm only making unbiased and honest reviews. They said, that's all we want. So, a few weeks later, I got a package from China with this little handy talkie in it. Hello guys, this is Lina Slimayanki 2 Hotel. Welcome to the review corner of my channel. Our guest today, TalkPod A36 Plus, a 5 watt radio, FM, ham radio bands, GMRS, General Mobile Radio Service, PMR, Private Mobile Radio Channels, Air Band, weather and FM radio. Let's go! Calm down, calm down. It just sounds too good to be true. Yes, all these frequencies and bands are available in the radio. But is the radio up to the specs when it comes to these purest emissions and harmonics? Can this radio transmit uh, on ham bands or it only can receive on ham bands and it only can transmit on GMRS bands. That's what I'm gonna find out just right now. Stay tuned. The TalkPod A36 Plus is marketed as a multi-band GMRS radio. Well, it's kind of a, a little bit difficult to understand. So is this ham band radio or is this a GMRS band radio? It may seem that it's both, judging on the label on the box. So I decided to open the battery compartment up and see for the sticker, which will tell us a lot about this little radio. So it says talk part. GMRS multi-band transceiver transmit 462 467 megahertz and for receive from 65 to 174 megahertz so this includes ham band and the broadcast fm stations also from 220 to 260 megahertz and then from 350 to 520 megahertz i've done some little investigative google search work i discovered that you know the fcc has got all the papers presented by the company to the fcc including the tests uh, conducted by the company itself in order to get the fcc approval so the documents presented by the talkpot company to the fcc uh, which includes the own made tests tests made by the company itself so they prove that the only frequency for transmit which the FCC certificate was looked for uh, was the US GMRS frequencies 462-467 megahertz and uh, no tests were done at least for this model of this uh, TalkPort A A36 plus radio on the ham bands uh, but uh, the company did all, all the necessary tests and, and was granted with the FCC ID number uh, for GMRS bands on transmit and for all other possible bands for receive. So here we are, but don't take my words for granted. It's just my personal opinion on what I think was happening to this walkie-talkie while entering the market. Maybe I'm wrong and the A36 Plus can nicely transmit on ham bands. The tiny spectrum analyzer is our friend here, and let's make a simple harmonics test. 40 dB attenuator, which is also a dummy load, and attenuator is connected between the top part and the tiny SA in order to prevent tiny SA from burning down. Low frequency port, which means the, the, the highest frequency is 350 megahertz. So if we transmit on two meters, uh, so the second harmonic will be still fitting in the range of the low port of the tiniest say. Push measure, choose harmonics, 
we choose this central frequency which is 145.85 megahertz all right the tiny sa gets gets ready i'm gonna push ptt now Ta-da! houston we got a problem on the left marker one it's a fundamental frequency on the right marker two it's a second harmonic of the fundamental frequency and oh my god it's only minus 2.9 dbs lower in level compared to the fundamental frequency and it should be minus 40 dbs lower 40 dbs lower compared to the fundamental frequency otherwise this radio is illegal to transmit on two meters so a36 plus is illegal to transmit on two meters all right so now let's go to 70 sams band we push on mode and switch to high in push ptt on 70 sams band we see marker number one for fundamental marker two for the second harmonic and i don't care about the spurious in between as these can well be the byproducts of the internal mixer in the tiny essay itself but number one and number two are real and it shows the second harmonic is 33.5 db below the fundamental that's much better than on two meters the FCC though does not specify any limits on this band, so I can't tell if it's legal. In any case, it's less than minus 40 dB required on 2 meter band. In the European Union, minus 33 dB is not enough. Accordingly to the ETSI, European Telecommunication Standard Institute, it should be no less than minus 60 dB compared to the fundamental frequency, on all frequencies starting 30 megahertz and up to 1 gigahertz so it would be difficult in my opinion for the a36 plus to get the ce approval and finally the good news kind of the gmrs frequencies the general mobile radio service is a non-ham paid license service these channels are the only transmit frequencies in this radio granted the FCC certificate. And look, the second harmonic is 49 dBs below the fundamental. There is clearly a low pass filter installed here. Why not on 2 meters? So this radio is not suited very well to transmit on ham bands. But the A36 Plus is a pretty nice receiver on airband, FM broadcast, and amateur radio bands. And this is SO50 satellite. So I'm receiving with a tiny antenna SO50 satellite, which is passing now at 50, 51 degree from my location. Excellent. I can hear something on, on the satellite SO50 uh, with this tiny, tiny rubber duck antenna. It means the receiver sensitivity is good on this radio. It's a class IP54 radio, so light rain or dust shouldn't be a problem. All right, summing up, guys. So what this little green radio actually is, it's a handheld radio with a multi-band coverage but only for receive on transmit though it's a single band radio tuned and designed for one single band and which is in at least in this model in this incarnation of this radio us gmrs frequencies 
it can surely transmit on VHF and UHF handbands, but this purest emissions and harmonics are that high that actually violates the governmental requirements and thus is illegal to transmit on these frequencies. So that's, that's it I can tell about this radio. Thanks TalkPod for sending this in. That was a pleasure to play with it. And it was a pleasure to make my honest and unbiased opinion. So thanks for watching. If you got this radio, by the way, please leave a message in the comment sections. Do you like it? How do you use it? Which frequencies? Maybe you've got another versions of this model with, uh, let's say, handbands opened and with the uh, low pass filters installed. That would be great to know. With this, 73, thanks for watching. Peace and victory for Ukraine. See you in my next videos. Oh, my favorite program on BBC World Service. See you.